Hi, I'm Shufreen from AWS, and welcome to another episode of This Is My Architecture. Today we are joined by Steve from Vitsi. Hey. Hey, Steve. Tell us a little bit about Vitsi. Sure. So Vitsi, we create mobile-first content for big brands at scale. Mm -hmm. So um, we have a creator portal where mm -hmm. the users go on and they can look at briefs and things like that and mm -hmm. um, accept the briefs, upload content. Uh, that content is then viewed in another platform by our clients. Right. And they can choose which content they want to purchase, look at it in different showreels, and then push that content through to the different social platforms. Okay, cool. So let's start with uh, with the user flow of, of the architecture. I'm just interested and curious to find out how, how yeah, the users sure. start off. Um, so obviously the users go onto our creator portal. Uh -huh. um, the main entry point is looking at the live briefs, what briefs are currently available. Right. Um, and that that's a single page app in React. And it talks to uh, Golang APIs. Mm -hmm. um, and that's using our our public ALV. So your Go APIs are then um, located within your ECS containers? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, yeah, they're all Docker containers um, pushed up into ECR uh, and then yeah, orchestrated by ECS. Cool. So yeah, so we go up to the LB and it goes down into the, uh, the ECS cluster. Mm -hmm. um, and from there, we then have like a set of private APIs for okay. the actual data for the platform. Right. Um, and we use a, a private ALB for that, which is within the VPC. OK. Um, so you have private uh, ALB, and, and this is a, a private ECS container as well? Yeah. OK, so that content then flows through. Yeah, right. exactly. So yeah, so we'll have one of the Golang APIs will want to retrieve some data, either about the user, about their payments, that kind of thing. Uh, that will use the private ALB mm -hmm. using a combination of host-based and path-based routing. Mm -hmm. um, so we also use a, a, a private Route 53 zone right. for the ALB. So that, allow, that again, it doesn't need to be public, so it, it can be private. OK. Um, and then the different paths for things like our payments API or our data API and that kind of thing. So you, when you said payments API, I, I see that you're using a, an OSQL DynamoDB here. Yep. Um, so you want to talk us through uh, Yeah, the sure. Payment? Yeah, so, so one of these services will talk to a private ALB, which will then um, route to, say, our payments API. Uh -huh. uh, and then that's going to be using Dynamo, uh -huh. um, which we chose just because it's, it's a scalable solution. We don't have to look at managing an OSQL database. The data isn't really very relational, so you know that we're, that's not needed from that side. Okay. Um, and another benefit we used is uh, we found as well with Dynamo is the DAC side of it, so speeding up the, the acceleration. The yeah, because a lot of the data doesn't need to be immediately available; it can be cached. Sure, sure. So I see you're using um, S3 here. Yeah. What sort of data is getting stored here? So most of it is the assets that the creators upload, so the content that that we're creating for the clients. So the process, again, is uh, through the public ALB to one of the, the Golang APIs. Mm -hmm. um, and they may go and get some data from the private APIs and use that to then generate some paths for uploading the actual content to S3. Right. Um, and that's where we store all of our content. Cool. Sounds good. Um, so Elastic Transcoder, um, like we, we know, it's a, it's an, a cost effective, scalable solution. What are the key uh, takeaways for, for, for you to be using Elastic Transcoder? Um, I think like, the, the key takeaways was just um, the different uh, bit rates and stuff that we needed for delivering the content uh, back, back to the creator portal platform, but also the client platform, right. as our users upload quite large uh, file sizes, mm. even 4K content sometimes. So we don't want to be delivering that directly to the users. Sure. Um, and also the thumbnails for the you know, the, the videos they've uploaded, we use Elastic Transcoder for that. Right, right, cool. So that sounds like a, a pretty cool architecture. Thank you for sharing your story with us, uh, Steve. And thank you all for watching This Is My Architecture.